So, white knighting and uh, why it's problematic and uh, not necessarily in the way that you might think. <laughs> Um, according to the exceptionally reliable sources such as the internet and uh, they, uh, the concept of white knighting is mainly when a man defends a woman's rights or <coughs> appears feminist in order to seem like a hero, uh, most commonly to get positive recognition by uh, women or feminists. Um, this man doesn't necessarily believe in the cause himself, but uh, merely recites some fancy-looking BuzzFeed article he scrolled down on Facebook earlier that morning, uh, just to seem important, perhaps to bet her. Um, some cases, these men actually think that they are feminists. <laughs> and they don't necessarily do it as a pickup line. Uh, they just think that women aren't really being feminist properly, and uh, they need a man to show them how to feminism <laughs> in the right way. Uh, otherwise, it won't, they won't necessarily be heard. So um, they're just here to help. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, this type of white knight can be quite worse because they are so set into the ways of patriarchal thinking uh, that they don't really... Well, obviously, they don't let women speak. Uh, they can be recognised by these three factors. That would be on the slide that isn't there. Uh, they are interrupting a woman who is defending herself to explain her what she means, uh, commonly known as mansplaining. Uh, he might be uh, repeating a woman's arguments only louder and uh, perhaps with different words right after she said them. Uh, so in case someone in the back didn't quite understand what this lovely young girl was saying. Uh, or, uh, of course, the line, if someone has a problem with this woman and her feminism, they'll have to go through me. <laughs> now that's a white knight for you. Uh, and I'm sure you don't need to think long and hard to find someone who is exactly like that. Uh, or maybe you've done this yourself. Don't worry, I forgive you. Uh, just don't do it again. <laughs> Lately, however, I have seen uh, white knighting being used uh, in a similar but different sense. Uh, it's used mainly on white social justice workers who uh, defend a minority group that they're not themselves part of. Simply put, white people who are getting outraged, offended and kinked uh, on my behalf. <laughs> yes, so to some extent this is problematic, of course. Uh, it's provoking as hell, uh, and when you see right through it, and it's so clearly to get attention and to appear like a better person. And yes, this is not exclusively a Nordic LARP phenomenon, but I, t I thought I'd take it up given the times that we're in, and I'm referring to uh, LARPers BFF and uh, LARP Haven, and uh, where racism, the Facebook groups, for those of you who don't know, uh, and there uh, where we are discussing racism in LARP and the LARP community, and uh, they have, we've had some uh, quite heated discussions that have resulted in banning, and the internet has blown up, um, which... Uh, results in that now more than ever, people are afraid of appearing as white knights. So in result, people who would normally become, who would normally be my allies, they are afraid to speak up because they don't want to speak out of place. They don't want to say something when there isn't their turn and they should let uh, the people of color speak. And while I appreciate this, uh, in the Nordic LARP communities, we are, well, if I say a handful, I'd be exaggerating, but uh, we aren't really that many people. Uh, so, yay, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we really need our allies. So, what we need is, um, we, need, we need our allies. Otherwise, it will be just me and a couple of other people trying to be, hey, guys, I was kind of quite racist. I feel kind of excluded now. And I, I, I would actually appreciate some social justice worker, some white knight coming out and being like, hey, that is not okay. That is blackface. Like, yes, thank you. Do that. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, here's the thing. Like, even if the motives behind this white knight is self-serving, and honestly, I don't always think it is, because, I mean, yeah, there's always some humble bragging on Facebook. So, of course, when you donate to charity, be like, yeah, why don't you support this cool cause that I supported, because I'm really good. But also, you do it because 
it makes yourself feel good, but also you help people, so it can't be all that bad, can it? <laughs> so, and yeah, let's see. Yeah, so, yeah, so this girl, Tina, from the middle of nowhere, she's coming into a store and she sees that, yeah, you can disguise yourself as a devil or a black person or a witch. And she goes, hey, you know, um, actually, that, that's not cool, you guys. So she goes out outraged on the internet. And I have friends, people of color, who are like, oh my god, I'm so tired of this white knighting. Uh, and I say, you know what, she's actually an ally. She's just speaking up on our behalf. There aren't that many black people where she lives. So, you know, that black person perhaps never entered that shop. And, or if, if, or if they did, they would be like, I'm the only black person. I'm not going to again be the one who speaks up. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, Tina, from the no middle of nowhere, <laughs> for speaking up. And even if sometimes, I've been told by white people, you know, you should be more outraged, you shouldn't accept this, uh, you are wrong to not be angry by what just happened. Uh, and I say, you know, actually, I'm not offended. I think what he said was funny. Or, you know, what she says now, she doesn't understand any better. I'm not going to get angry. Uh, thank you for being angry, though, but I'm not. And it makes me feel little. It makes me not feel enlightened enough. Uh, and. And yeah, I, I too, I thought it was really annoying with these uh, white knights coming here and telling me what to do and what not to do. <sighs> Lately, I've realized, you know what? If, if this white knight is angry on my behalf, I don't have to be. I, can <laughs> I will just go, yes, what this person said, I will click and share, and I don't have to do it. And I can focus on other good things, you know? Uh, it's a good thing, even if uh, her, her intentions originally was just to make herself feel great, but you know what, if I read it and I share it, maybe some ally who just didn't know about this particular case will come out and, she, and they will speak up. She will read it and think, oh, I didn't know this. Uh, I will tell my friends, I will tell my coworkers, and then all of a sudden we raise awareness, even if that original poster was some sort of, I don't know, self-serving asshole. Now, <laughs> just to make one thing completely clear, everyone, I'm not asking you to go ahead and be asshats and uh, interrupt black people and tell them that they're racist or they're not do defending racism the right way. Uh, just don't misunderstand me. <laughs> uh, like, in general, don't be a dick. Uh, if you're a white man, uh, as I see many of you are, uh, think... <laughs> <laughs> just think two seconds before you post or before you say something, like, is there anyone else who wants to say something? No. Nope. Completely sure? Okay, then I might just, I might just say something then. But yeah, don't just waltz over someone and tell you, like, you know what, that movie is actually racist. I'm like, no, actually, it defends black people's rights. You know, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, don't, <laughs> don't be a dick. Uh, and uh, I would rather have you in my corner and shouting than uh, having you over there and people are calling me the N-word and say nothing at all. So.